Calcium scoring uses a special type of x-ray called um, CT scan and it takes images of the heart looking at, looking at calcium buildup in the coronary arteries. And this is interpreted by the radiologist or cardiologist to determine whether further um, modification to treatment plan is recommended. So this test involves the patient coming in um, for the test, go to the radiology department, and then they go into the scanner, the CT scanner, which completes the test in about a minute or so. And the images are reconstructed on a computerized system, and the interpretation is done by the radiologist or cardiologist. And pretty much what this test is doing is that it's looking at evidence of calcium in the plaque, which can accumulate in the coronary arteries. Now, plaque by themselves um, is made up of uh, fat, cholesterol, um, calcium, some other components of the blood may be in the plaque as well. But when a plaque is mature, calcium deposits in it, and that calcium can be measured, um, can be imaged and measured. Now, the measuring part of it is the scoring that we talk about, and uh, it's called an Agatstein score. Okay, a normal cal uh, cardiac calcium score is a score of zero, which means that there's no evidence of calcified plaque in the coronary arteries. Now, um, the corollary to that, which is an abnormal ca uh, calcium score, will be a non-zero calcium score. So anything other than zero is abnormal. Now, that can be further divided into mild, moderate, or severe. Now, mild, um, mildly abnormal calcium score would be any score from zero to 99. A moderately abnormal calcium score would be from 100 to 399, while a severely abnormal calcium score would be a score of 400 and above. Now, um, the, why do we bother um, dividing these calcium scores based on, um, on, on the level, mild, moderate, severe? It's because it's has an, uh, it plays an important role uh, with regards to prognosis. When the calcium, when there's no calcium at all, that's the best prognosis. Mild, mildly abnormal calcium score has like, a better prognosis than if it's moderately abnormal or severely abnormal. Now, the risk of having significant coronary artery disease, which might be obstructive and causing heart attack in the next three to five years, is greatest when the calcium score is greater than 400. And the moderate calcium score is like intermediate risk, while the uh, normal calcium score is the lowest of risk, and next to that is mildly abnormal calcium score. The benefits of doing this test is that it enables the physician who's looking after our patients to determine, um, to detect coronary artery disease before it becomes symptomatic. So we're trying to catch it before it becomes symptomatic. Now, generally, we don't apply this to everyone, but when uh, we determine that the patients in question have risk factors for having coronary artery disease, this test is very useful in helping the physician to modify the risk, characterize that risk, uh, further modify it, and um, make changes to the patient's treatment plan. In some instances, uh, for example, some patients may be reluctant to take statins for their high cholesterol and they want to try diet and exercise. But if you do this calcium score and you see that there's al already evidence that they have significant coronary artery disease due to elevated calcium score, that would be an encouragement to uh, get the patient to take statins to better reduce their risk of having problems down the, ride, down the road. To schedule a calcium score, pick up the phone and call Tana Central Scheduling, 770-812-9721, and you can get an appointment to come for the test at either of our locations in Carrollton, Villarica, Widawi, or Bremen, and it costs $99.